Breeding of Sana Pontetas. See your son, Mamma, my man. So, my pina pooed the man away. We send an only my child there. Mamma, thousands. You do it almost like tea in it. She the Sava Pong with the seed in it. Can you see something here? These are the small larvae of Sanapunctetas. The breeding is going on. I think these larvae are like two to three days old and probably like they were hatched out few days ago, means which one or two days ago. So they can properly swim now. And they are swimming and looking for the food. Oh, it's very wonderful. So you can see the nature of the breeding of these ear ear uh, breeding uh, ear breeding fishes. Normally, they like to breed in such pits. This is a small water body. Okay, you can see it's very small water body. Nearby a big pond. This is a huge pond. Actually, during the rain, they will try to come out from these huge water bodies. Okay, and it's like small migration for the breeding. So they will move out from this place, and then they will look for the water body. Okay, and when there is rain, most of the ponds are over flooded, and because of that, they can swim like this this may be around like 10 to 10 uh, feet away from this huge pond so now you can see here they come here they came here with the male and female and they do breeding here so this is the breeding they have done few days ago and uh, like when they become like matured and in the another next rain they will start move out from this and they will before drying before the winter season they will move into the ponds this is how they do the migration so it's very wonderful it's the huge number maybe like around not less than uh, 20,000 uh, fishes here you can see these are small fishes, small fishes, I cannot see the mother or the, the father of these fishes, but they may be beneath this surface somewhere, but, well, the mother may be there, I think so. It's the water here may be of almost one or two feet depth. Be why they need the small water body is because during the breeding, um, as they are like um, external breeders, they do like fertilization outside by giving out the eggs and the, the sperms. So if the water body is less, they can do breeding easily because the water amount of the water is less and the mixing of the, the sperm and the egg is easier and there is high chances of like uh, 100 parts per cent fertilization of the eggs so that is how they do the trick okay you can see it's very nice very lovely and 
a few days ago i also uploaded uh, some pictures where dead fish uh, that breed inside the pond itself so they were of big size huge size little bit bigger means almost 15 20 days these fishes they will be doing like this for almost uh, 15 20 days i think so and after they become like a little bit of uh, two cent one centimeter uh, one inch or something like that they will start moving out away from the parents the parental care may end after that so nice so lovely the eyes are golden color you can see the eyes are golden color golden in color and the body black in color and amazing it's very lovely so you don't need to do the artificial breathing if you know the uh, the, the 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 environment or the ecology how they live Use number.